cancel culture may be loud, and the mob may try to silence opinions they don't like. But now, comedian Bill Maher is recognizing people and companies who are actually standing up to the mob and refuse to be silenced. How do we take a stand against cancel culture? And I suggested, since we were mostly all in show business, that we start an award show to honor the brave people who have fought back. The president of my alma mater, Cornell University, Martha Pollack. This month, students there demanded trigger warnings before all the lectures. She just said, no, colleges were introducing you to new ideas. Trader Joe's, who for years have been selling a line of ethnically themed products. One teenager on Twitter heard the word Jose and said it was racist. They said, you oversensitive little I love this. And before we open it for discussion, I just wanted to mention that I would add to this list Nick Sandman, then the 15 or 16 year old yeah. high school student who was at the pro life march about five years ago. There he is. Mm -hmm. And the trolls and the useless people on Twitter, hateful people on Twitter, tried to cancel, ruin him immediately. He successfully sued CNN and the Washington Post for a settlement because he was being deferential and kind to that Native American gentleman. And yet they thought the worst of him, presumptive negativity, because of course, he was wearing his MAGA hat and he's pro-life. Anita, what do you think? Yeah, well, that was that was pretty unbelievable what happened to him. Uh, but I think there are a number of people uh, who are fighting against cancel culture. Some of them are not screaming it from the rooftops. Some of them are doing it in a quiet way. I want to mention Justin Bieber. Uh, I love his music. And a couple of years ago, he put out a gospel album. Uh, and on there was a song called Afraid to Say. And I want to just read quickly some of the lyrics. It was all about cancel culture. Some of the lyrics are, what have we done with society when everybody's getting canceled? And can't there be room for maturity? Because writing them off is not the answer. We can't write people off. God never writes us off, even in our darkest days, even when we least deserve it. You didn't want to sing that, Anita? Well, you know, I talk, <laughs> I don't sing. <laughs> but, but, you know, he does it through his, his lyrics, and other people do it in other ways, right? That's true. Tom, you're obviously a cultured man, not worthy of being canceled, but people have probably tried. Yes, and, you know, I think one of the biggest cancelings was the past two years with COVID. And they wiped people off of not just social media, they silenced them. Banks were taking away their, uh, their ability to make a living. Joe Rogan was one of the big ones there. Uh, doctors that appear on Fox all the time, like Dr. Aaron Cariotti, Cariotti he, he lost his job. I mean, he was, he was working for a big hospital, I believe. They let him go. So some of the COVID heroes, I keep them in a little file on Twitter, and I keep following them. And, of course, there was that, uh, I don't even know the guy's name, that guy from Canada. Remember the, the COVID bro who, who in, the, in the tank top who said he is not uh, going to wear a mask? I love those guys, all of my COVID heroes. It sounds like RFK Jr. is going to run his presidential campaign in part on that very issue. Another hero, RFK Jr. He was solid on COVID from the beginning. Speaking of true heroes. Joey? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. I know a few. Uh, um, I may, may write a book one day about them. Um, listen, I, I had a name I just kind of threw out there when this topic came up, and that's uh, Jason and Brittany Aldean. Um, you know, Brittany Aldean is social media famous. Uh, her husband is one of the biggest names in country music for the last several, last two decades. The, thankfully, he's a Georgian ar artist, so I know exactly who he is. But she just spoke her mind about politics, and people tried to cancel him. And he responded by modeling her T-shirts that say things like conspiracy theorists or mamas don't let your babies grow up to be, to be liberals or close the border or USA, things that are highly controversial now. He responded at the top of his career by supporting his wife and putting out a line of pro-patriotic, right-leaning, unfortunately because these really should not be partisan issue topics, but right-leaning shirts to show his fans this is who I am and where I am. And you know what? He's only going to go up from there. But if you want to talk about others, Gina Carano, Rob Schneider, uh, I, I don't know his name, but one of the musicians, I believe, from the band Mumford & Sons. There are so many people that we don't celebrate or highlight enough. I get texts from friends that are A-listers down to D-listers from my time in, uh, in Hollywood working with nonprofits that will send me a picture of me on TV from their green room but won't dare put it on social media. And a lot of times I blame them for that, but honestly it comes back to us. We as Americans have to support people in pop culture for not letting their careers be destroyed in some way for simply being conservative. It's so true. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.